can find out what that job was a little bit later on. I'll give you a clue. Welcome to the channel. It's Thursday, the 3rd of March, 2022. And we do have some unprecedented floods in New South Wales, in Australia. And two dams are actually, could be possibly in danger. And I'm going to show you that. But let me show you some of the pictures and images of the floods which are happening as we speak near enough in New South Wales in Australia, very close to Sydney. And it's turning life upside down as floods always do for people. Unprecedented, they do have floods in Australia, but usually it's controllable. These were ones were really heavy rain. Now, some of the floods were related to um, the rain, global warming, etc. But two dams in this area are in a potential or at a potential risk stage. Let's have a look. The first one is Sydney's Warragamba Dam. And you can see on the map where this is. And this is issued spill warnings in the Upper Hunter. I take it the Upper Hunter is the river there. And the other one is a bit further away from Sydney, the Red Bank Dam. And these are the only images I can actually find of this dam. I hope it's correct. But this is images of the place, obviously, when it's in the dry season or whatever. But this has, again, unprecedented rain. And this dam is in that potential danger crisis situation. Okay, let's have a look at the levels of our dam, the Free Gorges Dam in China, or the dam we report about quite often. In fact, a little bit too much. Once again, the water level in Kutan, Chongqing, has gone up 169.21. The Free Gorges Reservoir has stayed the same. It hasn't moved as of a 24-hour period, 168.52. Inflow is not there, but the outflow is the same as yesterday, 10,600. With that, or with that, with that, I've got my Australian accent, with that, let's have a look at the musical weather for you. It looks like this. Now, what was that job you asked me to do? Oh yeah, I remember. I'll be back. Yeah, I have a job for you. As the situation in the Ukraine 
is on its eighth day, there are some people to be aware of who are doing the Russian fake propaganda. One is got one guy from Russia Today. Russia Today is a news um, magazine, a like CNN or something like that you can find on YouTube. I think it's now blocked on Apple TV because I can't get it. And this guy here, Jerry, someone or the other, um, doing the Russian narrative. The other one is an Italian guy who lives in Switzerland and he will criticize or downplay, not downplay, he will criticize everything against the West, even though he lives in the West and saying that Russia is right and everyone else, or like you say, 70% of the world is wrong, including the United Nations. Do watch out for them. These are the guys who do the fake propaganda. Now, also, you may have seen some of one or two of my shows related to this guy, Brian Berletic, a former American Marine, lives in Thailand. And again, he's the same as Angelo and Jerry. Basically, everything about the West is bad. He's a, a tanky. He believes that Stalin, Gaddafi, Hussein, Xi, Rocket Boy Kim, uh, Putin are correct. And I think I got on his nerves a little bit because he has actually blocked me from Twitter. I think that means I'm getting noticed. <laughs> hey! Now, the other part of this headline. The other part of this headline is related to a story that I heard. And now, this is unverified. I must emphasize unverified but one little tweety bird actually said to me that a the free causes corporation is actually meant to be for clean energy is actually drilling for oil somewhere in the free gorges reservoir area in the free gorges area now i can't confirm any of this report but if it is, it's going to be done in total secrecy. If it is, because it is a clean energy company, clean energy company, it did sponsor the Olympic Games in Beijing, which was meant to have 100% green energy. Obviously, that's near enough impossible to do in this day and age and life. But drilling for oil around there, it's sort of like weird. Again, this is unconfirmed. I can't confirm it, but I just wanted to share it with you that a green energy company is d drilling for oil so they can make an extra little bit of money and the clean energy and having 100% uh, green efficient China by 2060 is just another fabrication. It's just another porky pie little lie. What am I doing with this drill? Well, a little bit later on, as my phone goes beep, 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 a little bit later on, we are going to be drilling some holes into the wall because we do have some pictures. So tomorrow, you can't see it now, but just over that bit there, I'm going to have a picture of Tokyo. It's already been printed, it's developed and having a little bit, finally, I'm going to have something on the walls. I already got some clocks installed. I haven't shown you that, but I will show you a little bit later on. That is about it for me for today. Thank you so much for your time. Just a little bit of fun with all the serious situation which is happening in the world. Be well, be safe. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye. Be strong, Ukraine. Thank you.